Okay, so we left off with the pattern for our insert pieces and what we needed to do was create these other pieces that are going to fit within uh, and then we're going to put a border in there as well. So depending on how you're going to create this, if you're going to do this as a 3D print, uh, you wouldn't really have to worry about what I'm going to do, but if you're creating something, say, to be created in a, a wood shop, then you have to look into essentially how are they going to create this thing. So one thing that we could do to start off with is we're just going to create one part that's going to go uh, from here all the way down on a miter. So it's going to be basically just like a thin piece of veneer that's going to separate this from the overall frame. So let's take a look at how we might do that. I'm going to take a look at this on an isometric view and again I'm going to come back up to the create because I'm creating a new part. So we'll call this uh, veneer border. And we have to create this, we don't have to, but we could create this on the same plane here. So let's choose this plane here. And I want to get an overall look. So what I'm going to do is come to uh, creating a sketch for this, this piece. So first things first, let's come in and we'll select that, that sketch. Okay, so now that I'm in the sketch mode ribbon, you can tell because it's in the uh, green tab. I'm going to go to project edges and I'm just going to come down to this edge right here and I'm going to use that to create this piece. Now I'm also going to create another one. I'm going to make a line. I'm just going to draw it anywhere out here and for the time being just leave it at that. So I want to dimension this, these two lines, they need to be a sixteenth of an inch. I keep putting that in as an eighth. Okay, so now I've got that lined up. That makes sense. Now the next line is going to come off of this on a 45 degrees. So right now it's saying 27. If I hit tab away from the actual length and I put in 45 degrees and then hit tab again, it brings me to the length and now I can snap that into place and trim off the excess. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is do that same thing down here, but I don't have anything to anchor it to. So again, project geometry, we'll grab this line here and I'll just start that line off the end of that and I can follow that plane and as you can see it's lining up with that other line so instead I'll just hit OK and I'll come up to the extend and use that line that I've already got and now it's going to go to that point so they're, they're closing up now I need to just close up this line here because that projected geometry doesn't actually count as a line that will create geometry for me. So I'll just put that last one in there and I've got a closed loop for another extrusion. So I hit finish sketch, go to my extrude tools, and now I can select that profile. I'll switch it to the other side and I believe I made that depth a quarter inch. Now it looks like it made that as a surface. It did. So I'm going to come back to that and edit this feature and see why wouldn't it let me do that as a solid. Okay, let's come back to our sketch. Because if it makes it as a surface, that means that... Ah, so I don't have a closed loop in here. So that's okay. We'll just hit extend. And now I should have a closed profile that I can use instead. So I'll just delete out that feature. And instead of deleting the consumed sketch, I'll uncheck that. I want to use that sketch again, this time for an extruded solid. Okay, so we'll choose that. We'll flip the direction. Okay, perfect and I'll say return. So now I've got that one side done. What's beautiful about this is I can use that same methodology 
of using the mirror, select that component, and then I'll select that same mirror plane that I used before right here. Is it this one? It was that one. Next. Okay. So now I've got one half of it. Now let's see if we can use the created plane out of its end, this one here, to create the next two. Okay? So now I've got the full border on the outside. What we need to do is create these pieces. 